welcome back to the channel and the me to the ZO freaking end. You guys already know. But today I brought you guys a new face, a beautiful face. Hi. And that is the face of the gorgeous Anita. Hi guys. I'm <laughs> so excited to meet all of y'all. So I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Okay, so today we're going to have a story time, okay? I've not done story time on this channel for a very long time, but we're going to do that today. And today's story time is worst date ever. Ever! Like... I'm really, really emotional. I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get right on to it. So, Anita is going to tell us. Okay, she's going to give us gist. Please. I feel, oh, why did I not make that? What's that thing called? Yes. Free star. What's that, what's that drink? What's that drink that you drank yesterday? Oh, okay. That okay. we dissolved yeah, in water. Yeah, yeah. We should do it. Guys, you grab your wine. I'm going to make a drink and we'll be right back. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the colder, the better. The better. The better. Ah, this thing is nice one. I think the cold, like it's colder, so it's a lot. It makes a lot of sense. So hey guys, so we are back and we are about to give you the juices of juicy gist. Amen. Amen. Hi guys, so we're back. So pardon me if I'm such a bad storyteller, but yeah, we're doing this for you guys. So bear with us. Um, this was date out of many others happened whilst I was still in school, um, university, and uh, I went to the bank, blew myself, I just made a new hair, I went to withdraw money from the bank. And then I met this dude, and he was looking so good, he was wearing this, um, senator dress, he was oh. looking so good, and dark so not as tall but he was handsome and i'm like okay as in how can a handsome how bad how wrong can a handsome guy go so when, he, when he approached me i was like ooh me <laughs> and we we chatted just for a brief while and he was like okay let's go on a date this evening and i'm like okay what am i even doing so let me go and get a treat as far uni girl now any time and to catch a little fun exactly and just in case you don't know what uni is if you're not nigerian uni is the same thing like college okay yeah, yeah outside university, nigeria yeah. university college that's what she's talking about so i decided to go at least i had to you know show forth and do younger with my new hair i'm feeling myself and stuff and i accepted went on this date in the evening to an okay restaurant there and it was going a little okay until it was not and then he decided to ask for my phone so he can peruse through my pictures I was not comfortable I don't know you like that I was not comfortable giving him my phone it's like we've not really gone so far in our discussion and even with the whole thing he had this air like about him it was not like confidence it was more like ego like one like i get irritated by you know this there's this ego this sense of self some people just seem to portray like they're over overly confident in themselves i don't know if it's i can't call it pride the disgusting one like, for me it <laughs> just the worst it was already pride. putting me off a bit so I was just trying to be nice and play it cool and he asked for my phone I did not accept though this guy literally took the phone from my hands as per maybe he, he felt like it was a joke or whatever I did not find that funny so right from that moment I started getting really really upset and started asking him to give me my phone and like it just turns out meanwhile the food he ordered, he did not even ask me what I wanted. He just ordered a Please my don't order. Like, like, that already set me off. So when he got collected my phone, I was like, oh my god, I'm in a date. I'm on a date with a psycho. Like, <laughs> I just 
concluded like there is something wrong with this guy there has to be something wrong with yeah. this guy how do i not say okay it's okay to perish through my pictures what if i have some nudes there and he got it and started cr- um, scrolling through and then he got offended by the way i was asking him to give return, me, return phone. my phone he was like hmm it seems you you're stubborn who do you take after your mom or your dad hold on <laughs> what what Wait, hello? What are you trying to say? Bro, my parents are stubborn. Oh, uh, they have me <laughs> here. Bro, you already <laughs> insulted me, dragged my phone, and then you How? went to my parents to insult my, my parents, parents and call them stubborn <laughs> okay, to prove so a point. I was at this point, I had known, like, I already know Ooh. this date is officially over. I just want to get my phone and bounce out. In fact, I was not interested in the food anymore. I was I was already I personally I can't stand it's different when um my ideologies or my philosophy doesn't align with you but if there's mutual respect you know I can I can somewhat go compromise you know just chill a bit but if I feel that you're not like there's a there's a aura of respect you give somebody you know that you um, Especially somebody you you just met, like yeah. to an extent, there, there should just be this consideration. It was just like, to, and then at, at a point when I said like I don't I don't like the way you're acting. He was like, keep your voice down, don't act up. Um, I'm somebody of um some repute, and there are people that might know me around here. Don't embarrass me. I don't want somebody to see me. I'm like. Dude, <laughs> bro, I'm calling the drama on your ass. Hello, I'm not even that dramatic. I'm not even want to even just raise my like. I didn't want it to even get to that point in the first place. I was, to me, I was talking normally. I was not even talking as loud as this because I was really upset, and I just wanted my phone back. And just the drama of me like trying to get my phone so that I'd leave. I wanted to leave. It was. It didn't even matter if they brought the food or whatever. And he was, and he said that, and I'm like, are you, is it that you're even embarrassed hanging out? Like, I did not ask myself out. I don't even, I did not ask for this kind of stupid thing. Nonsense dates, what is this? I mean, you're telling me about your rep. I literally, immediately, I was able to um, collect my phone very quickly. And I literally ran out. I, I, I know right now I'm missing bits and pieces of, things that he said and what happened in the day but i know that in fact when i got home i literally ran out took a cab that was passing and entered so that he would not pursue me i deleted and blocked his number and i i remember it's it's what is memorable because i remember how offended and how embarrassed and how how shocked i was that such a handsome guy can be so vile like there's this air of someone that will probably slap a woman if she do not like if she did not act right or act according to what he believes is the right way that was the air that he gave off to me so the fear that was what was memorable in that bad thing the fear that i had of him and the disgust that he was so he was so freaking disrespectful it's, it's, it's legit that. yeah it's legit violent is actually a violent person because first off i'm, I'm telling you you're, you're trying to do things against my will i don't know you are not committed on anything so why are you dragging my phone i think that's not enough the next thing is keep your voice down yeah, okay you know you're stubborn who did you take after and saying what was wrong with you why are you, yeah. why are you insulting yeah. my parents you don't know that they don't know you that, that, that they don't that's know your sick the, ass for me. and then that's the next thing you have true. a rep bro i didn't know you had a rep if you <laughs> had one <laughs> You would have kept that shitty attitude at home legit so i went on a date with somebody and i met this guy on facebook mm-hmm. so according to him i'm always popping up on his story and he's always seeing my facebook story and so he wanted to want like hook up what's up how are you then i just came into Abuja at the time mm-hmm. and i was still looking for where to serve my ppa so we went on now see the funny thing when i went there now discovered he was married okay now he's married with a daughter and the wife is pregnant i said okay and then it starts with this whole oh you know my wife i don't know she's just too much and i said but you, and I, when i 
I discovered that the wife was married. Was Wait up! No. I'm like, he what? told you. Yeah. He's even complaining about the wife to you. Exactly. Oh my so gosh, so guys I'm are like, even mad. I'm like, okay, your wife is pregnant. Maybe you should have been at home. I mean, it's Sunday. I right. just thought, you know, you should have been home since your mm-hmm. wife. You know, I said, oh, she's just having too much attitude. One time she's this. One time she's telling me I should hide. I should not take beer. I'm not hiding my beer. Yada yada yada. I said, but it's just like hormones, pregnancy hormones. So she's giving you one or two attitude. It's the pregnancy, like it's not and that. And this is deep. what you are supposed conversation. You're supposed to have, have with your wife. wife, not me. And then you're, and I, at, at that point, I'm like, okay, you are F9, nigga. You're already F9. Like, what is going on here? And then initially, he tried to make me, like, he tries to make out to me. I said, calm down. Are you, uh-uh. are we all right? Uh-uh. <laughs> Be calming down. It's not like this. So we now got to this place near the house. That's mm-hmm. this garden. Mm-hmm. And then he said, okay, let's eat um, grills and all that. Yeah. So we ate, we had this grilled fish. Very nice fish. I was already close to my house. So I can just throw it to my you home. You could also. enjoy the fish. I was already home. Let me just enjoy the fish right. and leave this sick nigga yeah. to get back home. So while we we're eating the fish, we got talking and all the gist. Oh, then I was, I was trying. I think I was... I was trying to incorporate vegetables, like more vegetables into my mm-hmm. diet mm-hmm. and everything. So I had this whole smoothie thing going on. Oh, how, how do I make my smoothie recipe? We just talked about that. And then uh, we were done eating. And then he had to drop me at okay. home. And he said, the car, you're driving. He literally asked me to give me a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> So he wanted to now materialize all his sexual fantasies on you. <laughs> you don't catch me. I said inside this car. I was like, at first I was shocked. I thought it was a joke. So I'm like, ah, what's that? I beg. Yeah, it's a joke. He insisted. He insisted. And you're driving with one hand. <laughs> then he started dragging my hands, unzipped his trousers. Oh my god. The and you know it's a tinted. Oh my god. Tinted and this jeep. was the first time you're. Exactly. This, the first time. Like, oh my god. And this is a tinted jeep. Oh my god. And then he's dragging my hands, and then he's dragging my hands. He has unzipped, dragged my hands oh into. Oh my god. That's so now, the so funny sorry. part Jeez. of this whole thing is as crazy as this. Oh my god. I think the only thing that makes me laugh out of this is the fact that I just eaten very spicy grilled fish. My entire fingers were soaked in pepper. So <laughs> so and then we had washed our hands and because the waiter was taking too long to bring soap and everything, I was like, let me just go home. Yeah, I'll go home yeah, and wash yeah, my hands properly, yeah. you know. So I rinsed my hand and used the wipe and mm-hmm. everything. This nigga dragged my hands to his nonsense. It did not reach two seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> he started screaming. <laughs> Motherfucker deserved that. Oh my god. Oh my Retribution god. in less than one minute. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I live for. Oh my god. He literally he started got screaming. You know, I said, You're so wicked. You're so me. I didn't know when I started laughing. I said, Wait, what happened? I didn't get it. He said, Why would you put paper on my. On my on what pepper oh that serves you right now drop me out of idiots <laughs> go out to your wife he really got it. Out of your like wife. he's crazy he's insane he's and insane that, i don't even understand the entitlement so because he took you out so like he, he first off started talking about how oh there's nothing wrong with men being um polygamous after all and i told him okay is this so is this a background thing is it like from growing up that you had this experience that you think so it turned out he has been abused by aunties when he was a child and all that so they're making him do all those sexual things as a kid I'm like okay but that that's not reason enough for you to want to like i don't get even if you want if to your daughter was amorous like, and like hang out he, he has to make sure that the person it that has he, to be mutual yeah it has to be mutual and this like, dude literally just wanted to i was like oh my goodness when i got home and i just tell my sister we even forgot about every other terrible thing and we're laughing yeah. at the not Oh, I'm glad that you guys there's a lightning to it because like, it's quite it did not make any sense. Like I was like, what? What? I don't even know how to handle it. He that. screamed. I don't know if he zipped his trousers as he was driving on because he was screaming and saying, Oh my god, you're so mean, you're so evil, you're so weird. I'm like, You got saved, bro. <laughs> uh, like, like literally under five minutes. The cover, the cover that was walking. <laughs> 
with the speed of light. Like, because next time he'll be like, he'll, walk, he'll tell whoever he wants to harass, I hope you're, you're clear. Like, <laughs> I think he blocked me on face because I didn't see him anymore on face. Oh my god, he heard that much. <laughs> It was good for him. Okay. No, he didn't block me immediately. I think yeah. later, the next day, he sent me a message. We started talking. And then somehow we spoke about infidelity, marriage, and all that. Okay. And then I, I was, I, I don't know, I was just typing some things. Mm. So I typed a very long message. And then he read that and he said, where did you copy this from? I said, no. I actually learned that from my father. And I said, are you sure? Because this is way too smart. I said, it's common sense for Christ. If you're married, you should know these things. Are you kidding me? And I said, Oh well, I'm too, I'm too moral. I'll be how did he say it for his liking? I'm too it's like okay, <laughs> bro. You be good and take care of your beautiful wife, beautiful lady. You need to see her gorgeous thing, tall, everything. I was like, she's giving attitude. Like, In my head, I supposed to tell me that I don't care. I'm not interested. It's, it's, it's with your wife. for me. It's, it's just because, yeah, it's allowed. They are, they're used to having, guys are used to having their own way. They are used to knowing that, oh, they can get away with infidelity or whatever. Oh, of course. It's a man's world, mm-hmm. like they say. It's a man's world. And, guys, the truth is, I don't know, I but... I I'm, I'm glad it did not get beyond like the harassment exactly. that he wanted because I was to... actually ready to break somebody's head. That was the funny part. And if I was, that was like in a room or something, I would have pro- I would have probably met him or wounded him seriously because Abba no. There there's some no no no. There's some really crazy things that people do mm-hmm. and it's like I don't know. I don't know what men think. I don't know how men think. I wonder how some they men made. <laughs> I don't know how they are made. Some of them, their brain is full of garbage. Those <laughs> being mentality. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Talking about guys that I, I don't even know why the cute. I'm not saying no cute guys, but the cute guys. I've, met, I've been on a date, and this guy is so cute. I don't like. I, I'm not into fair guys. I'm into darker, you know. Chocolate is the browner, the better, Burnsy. the darker, the chocolate, <laughs> the sweeter. <laughs> yeah, but he's fair and he's so freaking handsome. And we went on a date one time, and and he's very romantic. Like, then he used to send me before I accepted, I, w- I was not like into going on a date because he's not my um, spec. Anyway. So see. I was not open to him first but it was really sweet every morning you know sending all those really sweet messages sending gifts and i'm all <laughs> i buy into it at the time so we went out i was here discussing and then it got to oh what do you want to be i don't know if i'm cost for just meeting the wrong <laughs> guys <laughs> and, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and i asked him that. <laughs> What do you want to be? He was like, I just want to work in an airport. Dude, okay, what do you want to work as in the airport? Do you want to be a cleaner? Do you want to be... He doesn't really know anything, just as long as it's a uniform, an airport uniform that is really nice because, you know, look at him. He has the body for it. He's handsome and he knows he'll look really good. And I'm like... (laughs) (laughs) This guy is older than me. What in pizza? At the time, I was barely 22, 21, 22. And at that time, I had my life all kind of figured um, out. Yeah. yeah, so nothing about... And at the time, his dad was dead. And I'm like, okay, so what if he doesn't pay well? Or how are you going to survive? And he was like, my dad left a trust fund for us. So, like, I'm good on that front. And I'm like, okay, so like your social is going to be enough uh even when you get married like when you get married don't you intend to get married you're like "Hmm," that she thinks it's going to be okay so like isn't your aspiration going to yeah because the more you grow the more you you, there are a lot of things you pick a lot of interesting things you you have bigger taste you know you want more you just there's just that room for advancement like so um with the rent you're like oh we're going to Park into our family house. My mom is there. We have a separate house. I'm like, would you park in there with your wife? 
he's going to raise his family. Like, he there. watches too much of Z World. Is this Indian film? Which one is this one? I'm like, what's this? Yo, like he's romantic, hot and all, but oh my god. As at the time, I don't know what's like. We stopped talking. I, I, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't talk to him. We, we just stopped talking. Like, I can't have what <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He I will, like money. Shrink, I like being wealthy. You will shrink you. <laughs> I I do not I don't want to suffer. This life that I came to, I I want to be a baby girl. I've like, suffered enough. I, I keep telling you, I've had my days. I mean, Nigeria suffering. for Christ's That's sake. That's enough. That's enough suffering. I've had enough. So, I I, I, I couldn't believe my ears. I really couldn't. And I couldn't believe such a sweet, handsome. Oh, maybe everybody has their own what they can handle. But at the time, my aspiration was just too big to be limited by you know um, trust like form. the fact that oh <laughs> like even if i'm working my own i got my own shit i don't have like a financial support but, like yeah. somebody that i can trust that okay if it doesn't really work for me oh this person got my back financially so <laughs> i couldn't do it at that time yes i was thinking of it <laughs> yes i got to think ahead why won't you think so that's, so yeah, in Nigeria. That, that, that's another, that's you, another you bad have to think. That's another bad because every after that conversation, it was going all good until then. Everything just had to go south. After then, like I couldn't just I couldn't just bring myself to pretend that I, I was interested anymore. <laughs> like I just couldn't. So it just it just turned really weird. And every time I looked at him, it was. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So we'd like to hear your yes. own stories in the comment section. In the comment section. Type it, okay? Yeah. If you want to send it on my Instagram, send it, okay? We'll put it on the next video. Even if you want something. to be anonymous here, yeah, yeah send it just send it. We'd like to send. hear, okay? And I hope that we don't get to go on horrible dates like the, you guys. Amen to ever, that. Amen. Ever. <laughs> Not even our daughters. Ever. Amen to that. Thank you guys so much for thank watching. You. And thanks, Anita, for coming through. Uh, my pleasure. <laughs> thank you we'll guys for you having guys me. In, thank you for thank having you me. Thank you too. We'll see you guys in another video pretty soon. And for now, bye. bye. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. Peace, peace.